Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. This is a historic day for this committee. We are considering legislation that will alter the health care system in this country. I think the majority of us can all agree that our nation's health care system is in a crisis. My home state of Texas has some of the highest rates of uninsured in this country. Over 4.2 million adults, 30 percent of our population, and almost 1.5 million children, about 21 percent, are uninsured, limiting their access to necessary medical care. Sixty-two percent of all bankruptcies are the result of medical bills. Despite having highly advanced technological and an incredibly capable workforce, rates of diabetes and obesity are skyrocketing. The status quo is simply not cutting it. It is a moral and economic imperative that we address this situation with force, not with simply tweaking of a system that is woefully broken. Now, I have heard, as many others on this committee, criticisms of the administration's reform proposals, criticism of what is being considered in the Senate, and, of course, criticism of the bill that we will be considering in the coming days. I have heard remarks that this is bad. I have heard this is not going to be effective. My question to the critics is, as compared to what? Our frame of reference is where we are today. Our frame of reference is a system whose results do not reflect the resources, financial, technological, or manpower that we pour into it. Our frame of reference is one in which millions of Americans do not have access to affordable, quality health care. Robert Kennedy said, there are those who look at things the way they are and ask why. I dream of things that never were and ask why not. I say over the next few days it is time for us to stop asking why we have a broken health care system and that it is time that we fix it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez.